This video explains how to draw normal left and right skewed distributions in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to seven of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains five columns, which are called x1 to x5. And all of these columns contain numeric values. So let's assume that we want to draw these data in a base R plot. Then we can apply the plot and lines function, as you can see in the following lines of code. So in lines 9 to 11 of the code, I'm first creating our first density plot using the plot and density functions. And this plot contains the values of the data frame column x1. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new density plot is appearing at the bottom right of our studio. And this plot shows our first column x1. And as you can see, this density is right skewed. Now in the next steps, we can add the other columns on top of this plot using the lines function instead of the plot function. So in line 12 of the code, I'm adding the second column x2 of our data frame. In the next line of code, in line 13, I'm adding the third column, then I'm adding the fourth column and the fifth column. So as you can see in our plot, we have drawn five different density plots. And you can also see that some of these densities are right skewed and other densities are left skewed. Now to identify the different columns of our data in this plot, we can also use the legend function, as you can see in lines 16 to 24 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a legend is added to our plot. And you can see this legend contains the colors of the different densities. It also contains the column names of the different densities and it shows how these densities have been created. So for instance, the first column x1 follows an R beta distribution. So in this first example, I have explained how to draw normal left and right skewed distributions using base R. However, we can also create such a plot using the ggplot2 and the tidyr packages, as you can see in the following example, starting in line 26 of the code. So as a first step, I'm installing and loading the tidyr package because I want to reshape my data frame. I have installed the package already, and for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 27 of the code. And then in the next step in lines 29 to 31 of the code, I'm using the pivot longer call names and as data frame functions to reshape our data frame from wide to long format. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data long. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have created a new data frame that contains only two columns. The first column indicates our original column names x1 to x5 and the second column contains the corresponding values. In the next step we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package to draw our plot and for this we first need to install and load the package. I have installed this package as well so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 34 of the code and after running this line of code we can use the functions ggplot and geomdensity. As you can see in lines 36 to 39 and within these functions I'm specifying our long data frame and I'm also specifying that our densities should be drawn with a certain opacity. So if you run lines 36 to 39 of the code you can see that another plot is appearing at the bottom right and this plot shows the same densities as our first plot however this time we have created this plot using the ggplot2 package and you can also see that we have colored the densities with a transparent color. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. 
If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.